Welcome to our last ever episode of Cheap Seats. Yes, you heard me correctly. It's all over. We're leaving the tape library forever. Now, on any other occasion, we'd be sad about this, but we just got the call we've been waiting for for years. We're going up to the big show, Sports Center, baby, and we could not be more excited. It's the big show. I just said that. Now, a lot of people would just phone this show in, but not us. Mm -mm. We may have gotten the call up to the big, but we're still here to play today. That's right. We're still going to take our hacks at the plate. Mm -hmm. We're going to move up in the box and we're behind in the count. Damn, Skippy. We're going to soak the rosin bag with the blood of our oppressors. Okay, I wouldn't use that last one on Sports Center. I won't. Good. Well, since today is our last show, we're going to clean out the closet, so to speak. We've got all these tiny morsels that couldn't sustain themselves on their own. Like the band LFO. Only more entertaining. So let's get right to our first morsel. It's the 1982 Racquetball Championship. And to answer the question we know is already forming in your minds, yes, there will be some short shorts. The men in white is Mike Yellen. Hey, Jake, I forgot to ask you, are you Jelen? Like Mike Yellen. He has four victories in his career, four tournament victories. His opponent is... That's not a freeze frame. That's just how boring this dude is. Peck has got three tournament wins so far this year. He's the Along with some seriously feathered hair. This particular tournament. Did not need to go full screen right there. Dave Peck has won the... Whoa, dress it down, buddy. Yeah, this is racquetball, not your wedding. Dan Bertolucci. All right, Charlie. All right. Didn't we expect shooting off the set? Is this a Microsoft employee orientation video? Power player against Mike Yellen, the control player. I look for a dynamite match, but I'm not going to pick a winner. Good. It's not like we're paying you to do that or anything. University of Texas at El Paso. Former college wrestler. Former basketball player. He's tried them all. And now he's stuck doing this. Peck hits it, then Yellen. Uh, Peck. Okay, someone, it's off the wall. Oh, f it. It's just way too hard to call this thing. Did ESPN actually have permission to film this, or is this a hidden camera sport? Classic power confrontation. If those shorts were any shorter, they'd be a belt. Well, we've got a chance. Let's pick up a playing tip from pro star Dave Peck. Let's not and say we did. I'm Dave Peck, and today we... You couldn't get a green glove? Common mistake... And playing racquetball he is quitting your day job to play professional racquetball throughout the whole match what happened I feel like they're positioning Peck as the Steve Garvey of racquetball racket to spin in your hand just because your arm becomes fatigued how would you know when my arm gets fatigued right before the ball is struck you tighten your grip hit the ball then release your grip here comes the joke remember in racquetball you need to make sure you get a grip on things nailed it What happened? Hello? Did the announcers go home? What's going on? You should never have a laissez-faire attitude towards color commentary. It's why this man no longer calls arena football. Yeah! There it is. Dave Peck, the national... Someday he'll tell his grandkids about this, and they won't care. There he is. Okay. Dave Peck is Racquetball Garvey. In fact, he hosted his own celebrity bass fishing special in 1986. And here's a copy of the guest list. Ooh.
welcome back to Cheap Seats. Now, in case you haven't heard, Jason and I are cleaning out the closet today because we finally got the call to move up to Sports Center. Now, this is what we've dreamed about ever since we started working at ESPN. And even though we haven't started the job yet, we've already shot our own This Is Sports Center commercial. Yep, paid for it all ourselves, too. Because that's the kind of team players we are. You saved those receipts, right? Yes, I did. Good. Here's our new promo. One of the most exciting things about being on SportsCenter is getting to see such high-profile athletes on a daily basis. Although we're still adjusting to that. What's up, guys? Oh, hey, Tiger. Woods. I can't believe you're sitting next to Kobayashi. I know. He's eating so many soft pretzels. It's disgusting. Dude, he doesn't speak English. I gotta go, dude. Shaq? Is that why they call him the Diesel? Wait, hold the elevator. Roger, 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 Roger Clements! Ah! You're gonna yell at him? Maddox was in there, too. Well, we're down to the You gotta hand it to Dunkin' Donuts. They know their target audience. We've got two bowlers here that have great names for this Paul Pinhead and Gail Gutter. And Ed Champ. What are you gonna do with all that, Linda, if you win it all? I'm going to definitely buy myself a house, probably a mansion in New Jersey. Right across the street from Bon Jovi. What do you think, yeah? What are you going to do with all that money? Uh, just live comfortably. And by comfortably, he means alone. For the championship, they're guaranteed at least 50000 for second, 100 for first. 100000 I thought it was a million. Yeah, Dunkin' Donuts pays the other nine hundred grand in munchkins. Now she turns her Dunkin' Donuts missing some prime advertising space. Yeah. What would you like me to do here? A little help from the, the bleacher section. and she What does she think this out. is? The price is right? A lot of things can happen. Freeze it. No way. It's the Dunkin' Donuts guy in full costume. How much did he fight having to wear that paper hat on camera? Time to make the donuts. Time to pick up the spare. I'll give you an idea of what the, what the chances are of what could happen next. She's going to make the spare. Yep. Oh, snap. No mansion for you. 139. She has a chance. To what? Get with the Dunkin' Donuts she guy? Chance. She's only four pins under her average. Chance to win the $100,000. Again, it should be a million. 57 average. He Can't lose to a chick. Can't lose to a chick. Can't lose to a chick. Bam! Earl Anthony, that shot was as crisp and clean as you could throw it. Whoa, somebody just turned on his morning zoo voice. <laughs> he has 152 without throwing another ball. His average is 157. He needs five or less. Wait, if you go over, you lose? This is the price is right. He told me if he needed less than a strike, he would probably throw the ball a little left at the seven pin. Let's see. If or directly at Linda's left does. ankle. And he's over. Oh! How do you explain that one to the wife and kids? That's like not having to finish a report for a million dollar raise, but instead completing it with flying colors. Ed wins $100,000. So Ed won, but he lost. And if that isn't a metaphor for Ed's life, I don't know what is. Uh, with us here is uh, Jerry Grimm and also... This shouldn't be awkward at all. Heritage Sports. And uh, Jerry, I know you're excited to give him a beautiful trophy. Yes, congratulations, Ed. Ooh, not the best of trophies to give this guy. Seriously, why not just give him a photocopy of her check? Check to this man's fifty thousand dollars. Congratulations, good job. Great speech. All right, Ed, what do you have to say for yourself? Your fifty. Do you want the suicide note I wrote out, or should I just wing it here, fellas? You can't, you can't lose here, no matter. What well, unless you knock two pins down too many. What are you gonna do with the fifty thousand dollars? I'm going to take a year off and tour the world as a Frank Viola impersonator. Part oh. eight, maybe, right out the door. I'll be, I'm up there now. What? Thanks a lot, Jerry and Timmy, as well. Now let's uh, bring on the winner of this competition. But not the champ, because he lost. Standing out, really. Now, now just, just relax.
relax. Because is she going that crazy? A man who has handled perhaps more dough from hilarious than anybody that I know. That Wait a second, go back. Check out the time to make the donuts guy's reaction to that joke. Could he have hated it anymore? She with a trophy. He knows he's just an actor, right? Not sure. Linda. You were just fantastic, and it's time to make the vent to present the trophy, and uh, as the winner of... Who do you think would win in a fight, the Dunkin' Donuts guy or Mr. Whipple? Linda. For $100,000. She lost, right? Yeah, but she won. Yeah, still don't get it. My favorite part of that segment was how tight the time to make the donuts guy was holding onto the check. He was almost like, you can have this check if you pry it from my cold, dead hands. That's not funny, Rand. He's actually dead. Oh. So, who's making the donuts now? This guy. <laughs> Well, this is it. Our last Cheap Seats episode ever before we move up to Sports Center. And in honor of our final show, we're going to turn the Do You Care lens upon ourselves to reveal some facts about Cheap Seats that you probably didn't know. And that you probably didn't know you didn't care about. Just Do you care that Jason took seven episodes off in the middle of the show's run and was replaced by a CGI representation of himself played by me? Do you care that in 2005, Randy won a Cable Ace Award for Best Supporting Actress in a Comedy Variety Show for his participation on Cheap Seats a mere eight years after the Cable Ace Awards were discontinued? Do you care that I can't afford to put food on the table for my new baby now that you two... They're leaving the show. Whoa, oh, baby, okay. come on, watch the filth. You got a baby there. You don't want the baby picking up words like that. Hey, don't tell my dad what to do, you Okay, apparently the baby's already picked up a few words. Look, Beanie, we're really sad about this, too. You know, we don't want to leave you. We'd take you with us if we could. You're going to take me with you? Well, actually, we can't. See, you're a load-bearing bean. Okay, put a muzzle on that kid. I'll put a muzzle on you, dumb. All right, you know what? Let's just get to some curling, or as we like to call it, janitors gone wild. Lumbering interests. Finally, an event that shows why ESPN2 was created. Championships here on ESPN2. All right, guys, can we cut to an uncomfortable shot of four stiff Germans staring off into the abyss? Look at the lineups. The Germans defeated Canada 9 to 6 in the semifinals. Okay, on the count of three, everyone look awkward. On your right, the youngest member of the squad, the wonder kid, if you will, Sebastian Stock. What Sebastian Stock song do you think he liked more? 18 in life or I remember? Remember you. Six win over Norway. Got Oof, Abba does not look good. The right, the skip Swedish mullet. You can ski right off that thing. Sport. Peter, call him Kea Lindholm. Nah, I'm gonna call him Peter. Every day. He stayed with his original decision, which is to have his tubes tied. Let's go. Das is very good. The stone belongs to the brushers that. now. They call the holder of no. the green cards. Hmm. Germans shouting as they advance. What could possibly be wrong with that? You'll see the guard Quick, coming to the It's only a matter of time before this sport switches to Swiffers. But I'm telling you, Target should sponsor this thing. He's already got the brush down for the intern draw. That's just hubris. Shot before the stone had come to rest. That's confidence. Nonetheless, it's FCU, it's ICU. When I hear Das is good, I gotta believe that they're at least happy with it. When I hear Das is good, I think of Mel Gibson's father. He just acted. Sweden is reacting. MJ Campbell Van Lines nibbling away at Ford's valuable ad space. A lot of pressure on the brushers at this point, too, Tim, because... Because if they don't win, they have to go back to being high school janitors. 
They'll watch them closely. They're now judging it. They'll use this... Stefan Edberg, Ali clips you yet? Now they're watching it closely. I don't know. Kind of looks like they're brushing to me. On, off, yep. right brushing. Now they can see it's starting to move. Sometimes in the center of the rings... The I haven't seen that kind of precision since three-penny hockey. To me. There's your world champion. Go! Curling bullseye, go! Look at his wife. She's so proud. She's going to let him sweep out the garage tomorrow. He looks pretty happy. I wanted to get up for curling, but in the end, it just felt like janitors playing shuffleboard. Well, when you got a weak sport like that, you got to inappropriately pump things up, like this next sport. Something tells me this sport's going to be insane. Ping pong? Ping pong cornicova. What's the governor doing there? Oh. Fitness weekend. Because nothing says fitness like ping pong. Bill O'Reilly, not a fan. He blames the liberals. In the second game. Eight, six. Now, if you had a play. I guess Midnight Oil broke up. How can we sleep while the pings are ponging? Win. The first or second time. Go Wait a minute. What's going on here? We've got a photographer there, <laughs> right in the court, clicking and bothering Matthew on the serves, trying to keep his focus. Excuse me. Play. No pictures. My wife doesn't know I'm a professional ping pong player. She thinks I'm a doctor. It's all about concentration. But remember, Matthew loves to have fun with the crowd here. And his act is mostly crowd work. He's ping pong's answer to Richard Belzer. And yet, he has no photograph to remember this by. Or planning. Two points away now from wrapping up this second game. The best out of five. Ooh. That's got to hurt. It's convention center. Seven, nine. Is that, is that eight or I don't know. Why don't we look at the photograph to see? Oh, wait. You wouldn't let him take the picture. Too bad. Table McEnroe bratting it up. The mayor of Columbus, Michael Coleman, to his right. Table tennis serves have a lot of buildup for very little payoff. Like a David Blaine special. I appreciate this. Great rally here with men way away This rally is already longer than any the Cubs had in 2006. every time. How do you practice these shots? No basement is this big. Not that easy. The ball's coming in so high that if he drops it, it's going to come in low and it's going to bounce high again. Victor Conti with Arnold? Should we test the players for the clear in the cream? What a great comeback by the young player. 19-year-old Mark Kaczynski. The Ted Kaczynski of table tennis. Seven in a row. What a comeback. Time out. Match is over time now. out? It's ping pong. That's like calling a timeout during a game of air hockey. Except even less cool. And uh, just kind of stop the momentum. Dude, relax. It's just ping pong. <laughs> just some fan. He probably doesn't know this guy. Which is fine, because this guy probably doesn't know him either. What do you think I should do? Hit it back. What then? Hit it back harder. What then? Same thing, till he misses. You're smart. I know, dude. The human rain delay. I tell you. Translation, sh Stop play and change momentum for Matthew's side. The good thing is, none of these rallies look alike. How can we sleep while the pings are ponging? Okay, how much more exciting did the grunting make that? A lot. Which is why I've always said grunting can make any sport exciting. Mm hmm. Like a good shot. The subsequent turns, and guess what? He can. Hey, welcome back to our final cheap seat segment ever. Now, 
I don't want to get too far ahead of ourselves or anything, but I've already come up with my own home run call for Sports Center. Sweet, let's hear it. Swing it along, driving like Nicolas Cage. It's gone in 60 seconds. I like it. It's current. Here's mine. Holy foreign exchange student, that ball is long duck gone. Nice. Even more current. And speaking of current, check out this mid-90s model airplane competition. They came to race their six-foot radio... Tonight on when the music kind of matches the action. ...in the hopes of winning the... Oh, my. I hope it doesn't crash into my Hyundai. ...T6 Challenge. Southwest Airlines has really gone low budge. You are now free to move about the nerdiness. Encompasses so many... It's pretty cloudy, Maverick. Are the shades really necessary? Yeah, Easy, Rand. He could be blind. Light. It has the internal combustion engines, the... Nope, uh, just nerdy. ...tonics and the interior. And there's artistic aspect of it. It allows you to paint and fabricate. And like your fabricated Canadian girlfriend? Working of a kind of an artistic aspect of each pilot. And Dude, you owe him an apology. She is hot, even if she is Canadian. Have an opportunity to have the camaraderie with. Or a camaraderie. Same. And it makes just for a really well rounded sport that. Uh, sport? I've wow. If I'm LeBron, I'm offended by that so statement. The final gold trophy race, we have... Model plane from O'Hare is an hour late. Surprise, surprise. Moten, Maverick, Hopper, and Iceman, and Hartenheimer. Yeah, talk and blow the horn at the same time. Oh! Air rage! Fight, 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 fight! We got ourselves a stash off. Sacrifice that lead at all. Fred is trying to really get Wait, it. who's calling the race? Model airplane, Joe Buck. Be careful. Our model's son is on that plane. Stupid hobby. Wasting my time. So it's a race? Whoa, wraparound shades. Dennis Crooks. Freeze it. Three of the worst pairs of sunglasses ever. You couldn't buy those at a truck stop. Fred French second. Great. Everyone gets a trophy. Yay, I finished fourth in a model airplane contest. Time to take my toy back to my mother's basement where the voices talk to me. Wow. That's it. That's our last segment. I know. This is so weird. I know. I mean, how do we... I don't know. I, I can't just, like, walk out the door. I mean, I wish we could do, like, a one shining moment highlight thing, or... Yeah, well, we can't do that. It's way too expensive to get that music. Can we do a sound-alike? I believe we can. The shelf was tipped. The tie was passed. For the first time in your life, you are How amazing is this? Uh, it's pretty amazing. You want to start? Um, okay. Oh, wait. We forgot to give out cheapies. All right, let's give out one last cheapie, most valuable player in Cheap Seats history. I know who I'm giving it to. Who? Our Cheap Seats fans. Mm. You guys stuck with us with the audience, without the audience, with Garvey, without Garvey. Love you guys. We're going to miss you guys. I totally agree, which is why I'm giving mine to Wendy Gway. 
cutest little speller in the history of spelling. In the history of the planet. She was pretty cute. Even her glasses frames were cute. They were cute. Guys, they had... guys, guys, what are you doing? John, what are you Scott, doing? We're just getting ready to do Sports Center. What what do you mean? We got the call to do the show. Brandy and Jason. Got yeah. The call. yeah, that's right. We obviously know who you guys are. Big fans of you guys. Huge. Very excited to be here. That's awesome. Listen, right off the bat, I'm thinking I'd like a Java chip frappuccino. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, no whip. Mm -hmm. And you would like maybe what a frappuccino? Yeah. He's Vente. I'm Grande. That's Super. Great. Hey, we're tea people, but uh, you guys should go for it. Why don't you go for it? We're about to go on live here. Two, three million people. You go for it. You didn't, you didn't think you were here to host, host a show, did you? What? No. What? What? That no, is, we were just messing around up here. Hey, you guys, yeah, we're warm in seats. Frappuccino. I, Frappuccino I got it. regularly. Warm in seats. Like, right. warm. Hey, <laughs> leisure wear for me, man. Got it, man. This, I, this is, I like this we'll script. Get don't tell that I wrote yeah. or took any time to write. All what right. are we going to do? Well, we're not going to stick around here. Yeah, no, what, what are we going to do? Uh, maybe we can go back and do the old show. I'm sure they haven't filled that yet. Yeah. Welcome to Cheap Seats. I'm the score settler. And I'm Johnny Damon. Now, what some people might not know is that Johnny and I are also brothers. Our real name is Steve Damon. Yeah. It's amazing what you can find out in the creek. Okay, let's cut. Uh, Johnny, uh, in the creek is sort of my signature line, so maybe you might want to pick something else. Well, why is it your line? I mean, I think it's my line now. Well, it's my line because I've been doing it for years, and you don't just walk in and steal someone's line. That's why. I see it done all the time. It's a free I don't know country. how it works in the clubhouse, but uh, here on TV, you kind of, uh... It's called respect, Johnny, okay? No, but we kind of need to help each other out. And... We cut the bull... Chris, uh, what's going on here? Is it my line or not? I think I can say whatever I want. All right, you know what? <laughs> this. Say whatever you want. I don't give a <laughs> All right. So I guess I'm the uh, only host here, and... Uh... Yeah, do, do the show yourself. I don't give a... <laughs> okay, I will. Good. How about this racing legend right here? Huh? How about this racing legend right here? Hey, 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 right. hey. I'm Johnny yeah. Damon. <laughs> <laughs> we, we 